Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Today, we're going to do a quick overview and review for this game. If you want the full how-to, go ahead and click this icon up here or the link in the description. Now let's get into it. Ecologies is a 1-6 to six player game for ages 8 and up, with a gameplay average of 1 hour by Montrose Biology. The basic overview of Ecologies is to create multiple healthy biomes with matching food webs. The first to have 12 total points across their biomes wins. Or, in the case of a stalemate, where all cards have been drawn from the deck and no player chooses to play a card that round, the game ends and the player with the most points wins. Ecologies is a beautiful game. The artwork, which is displayed like the Adolf Milof posters you used to see in classrooms, textbooks, and encyclopedias all over the world. Funny story, I used to get a lot of detention in school. And in detention, they would have us grab an encyclopedia, give us a page number, and have us just start copying down word for word what was in that textbook. At first, I hated it. But after a while, I got used to it. And I also picked up a few random facts that they don't teach you in class. My favorite facts that I picked up and enjoyed usually revolved around mythology and, of course, animals. So I saw quite a bit of Adolphe Milo's work in my time in detention. But enough reminiscing, let's talk about ecologies in detail. The components for ecologies are simple to go over. They're just a bunch of cards. The base game comes with 108 beautifully illustrated cards. These cards are not only beautiful, but they display the information in the same art style used in the illustration. Now at first glance, the decimal points displayed may seem intimidating, especially for younger or more casual players. But fear not, they're in quarters. So, as long as you think of it that way, you'll be safe and not have to worry too much about the math. Now, when talking about ease of play, I think Ecologies is great for everyone. It's not too difficult to pick up, and since it's a card game, you don't have that intimidating factor that some of the larger box games can have on new players. But I also think this is a great teaching tool, which was kind of the point when developed by Montrose Biology. And if you're in it for the teaching and not so much the scoring, there's always an easy mode for the game that basically just disregards the points that has you building healthy ecologies for each biome. Ecologies goes to show you there's no rule against making learning fun. With over 100 cards in the base game, you have plenty of opportunities to replay ecologies. Using similar biomes to create new ecologies using different species is the main reason to replay this game. Although there are multiple organisms for each biome, not all organisms work well with each other given they're from the same biome. Which makes sense given the fact that most animals have hunting grounds or territories in which they generally tend to keep to, whether it be for resources, food, or shelter. Luckily, if you feel like there is not enough replay value for you there, there are expansions for this game as well. When discussing luck versus strategy, I have to say that Ecologies is a very middle of the road game, which I think every good game should be. You are never only at the mercy of what you draw. You have the ability to trade with other players, when they allow it of course, and you can always purchase new cards by discarding some of what you already have. These mechanics make it so it's not just strictly a luck based game. The strategy of the game comes into play when you're creating your biomes and you're deciding if and when you should trade, and if and when you should play certain cards. And of course, the biotic and abiotic cards should not be played lightly. You could really boost your biome, or hurt another player's biome, when playing these cards. You should almost always have a strategy in mind whenever you decide to play one of them. Now, I've mentioned the art a lot when talking about ecologies, but I think that's what makes this theme shine, and makes this a great game. The theme also helps on a personal level when discussing emotional connection. Now I love animals. I was lucky enough to have a cousin that used to take me to zoos and aquariums almost constantly. 
The more I could learn about animals, the happier I was. I still have those feelings today. So whenever I can find a game, or anything really, that can teach me more and be fun to boot, I have no hesitation in buying or wanting to be a part of it. Whether you want to learn or teach, this game is a great tool. Or if you just want to have fun with a game that has great art, Ecologies is a great game to choose. This board gamer says, cure classroom boredom with a game of Ecologies. Now this video was not sponsored, but I still want to share with you where you can pick up this game. Down below in the description, I've put all Montrose Biology information down there. So you have a link to the Etsy shop as well as the social media accounts. So go check out their Instagram as well as their Etsy shop and pick up a game of Ecologies for yourself. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.